And now, your Storm Team 2 forecast with meteorologist Tara Hastings. Well, after a foggy start to the morning, we ended up seeing lots of sunshine for the afternoon. Clouds are going to increase later tonight, though. We'll start off around 43 degrees at 7 o'clock and fall into the lower 40s at 11 o'clock with mostly cloudy skies. And there is a very slight chance we may see an isolated shower or maybe spotty uh, rain shower south of Dayton here uh, early in the morning. 35 degrees at 8 a.m., up to 45 by lunchtime, and high temperatures will be into the upper 40s. Right now at Dayton International Airport, we are checking in at 45 degrees with winds out of the south at 5 miles an hour. And other area temperatures dropping into the 30s here farther north around Wapakoneta and Bell Fountain. You may see a few patches of fog here in the far northern sections of the area, but for the rest of us, we're going to see a couple of hours of clearing before more clouds begin to roll back in. Here's a look at our Bryant heating and systems cooling camera. Mostly clear skies out there and dry pavement here on I-75 as we look towards uh, the south here. Mostly clear skies across much of the area. Uh, all the clouds that we did have earlier this afternoon now pushing off to the east of us and expanding the view a little bit wider here. I want to show you this little spin in the atmosphere where you can see a lot of clouds and even a little batch of some showers popping up here in central sections of Illinois. All all of this will continue to move eastward, so we'll begin to see our clouds increase in the next couple of hours. We're also going to see just a slight chance for a few light showers to develop here. Here's a look at our future track forecast model. We'll show you here at 1 o'clock in the morning. Clouds will increase, and again, a slight chance for a few showers after midnight into early Monday morning, mainly for so southern sections of the Miami Valley. Here's the picture at 10 o'clock, still dealing with some cloud cover around in the morning. But as we go into the afternoon, we will see some sunshine. Here's the picture at 5 o'clock, dry conditions for your drive home. Then as we work into your Tuesday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Not anticipating any big weather systems heading this way for your Tuesday. So it should be a pretty nice day with temperatures slowly rising each day this week. 35 degrees tonight, increasing clouds, just a slight chance for an isolated shower possible. And for the day tomorrow, we'll start off with some morning clouds, temperatures near 47 degrees, and looking for some afternoon sunshine. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, 48 degrees expected on Tuesday, a dry day here, up to about 50 degrees on Wednesday with a chance for some showers to push through. And then as we go into Thursday, highs up to 53 degrees, slight chance for a few showers in the afternoon, a chance for some showers in the morning on Friday. And look at this here on Saturday. I am forecasting 60 degrees. Our normal high for this time of year is 39, and the record on that Saturday is 62, set back in 1972. So very unusual heading into the middle of December, but it is possible that we may reach that 60 degree mark for next weekend. Seems like we're going in the opposite direction of what I'd expect. Yeah, 